why? Why couldn't you have picked a different time to have this happen? Or how about never? I mean, you're God. You could have stopped it. So tell me. I want to know. I know that you haven't heard from me in a while, but I've been busy. You know, class president, cheerleader, National Honor Society, valedictorian. We are so proud of the hard work and dedication of the seniors this year, and we are so sad that they have to go through this. Sad? How about mad? I am so mad. I have worked so hard for this. We have all worked hard for this. Since elementary, this was the goal. Graduation, the ultimate goodbye, and that final bridge from high school to college. And it was our time. We'd get all dressed up like we're going to church, shining brightly like stars at night, slowly and meticulously putting on our gowns as if they were a royal mantle. And we look good, sharp, crisp, smart. And then we single file into the Coliseum. Click, click, click. Pictures being taken throughout the room. And then we wait. We wait for our moment. Until finally, we walk the stage. Our parents beam with pride and so do we. Click, click, click. There's so many pictures. And all those years were leading up to this very moment. Kindergarten, first lost tooth, recess and spelling tests, trading lunches, sixth grade graduation, braces, pimples and crushes, sharing secrets and showing tears dances, football games, running down the hallways, laughing, pressing in, cramming for tests, and thank God, passing tests. And click, 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 friends taking pictures of friends and remembering all of those times. So what are you trying to do? Get our attention, punish us? What did we ever do to you? Forget it. You're not going to tell me. It's just silence. Deafening silence, just like it is in my room. Mom, stop. No, I'm not hungry. Just go away. Go away. At least I'm not crying anymore. Yeah, I know that it's not the end of the world, but it feels like it. Stop. You don't love me. Then prove it. Fix it. Make it all go away. Snap your godly fingers and let's go back to where we were. Getting ready for the prom. I had the dress. What, Mom? No, I don't want to watch a movie with you. I don't care if you have popcorn. I'm tired. Okay, well, I'm going to take a nap. Yeah, so if you're so good, then why did you let all of this happen? See, I knew it. Silence. Your silence speaks louder than words. Because you don't care. So if you need me, just let me know. Because until then, I'm out. What? You have great plans for me. I'm stronger than this. To my class of 2020, we feel that this pandemic has ruined the celebration that we earned and deserve. But that is not so. What it has done is given us the greatest gift of all, a story, our story. Think of the story that we'll tell our children or our grandchildren. We'll tell them our strength, perseverance, and determination to not let this keep us down. We will do as our alta mater states. With courage, honor, and excellence, we shall shine through and through. Yes, 
Back in 2020, we lived through it. And we made history. Class of 2020, we got this. Hey mom, I changed my mind. I do want to watch a movie. And save some popcorn for me, okay?